Today we're gonna talk about how to play Melina in MK1. Let's get into it. Honestly, I think she is really, really strong. Like, I'll be surprised if she is not like in the higher tiers. It's great movement, great buttons. So speaking of buttons, let's get right into it and talk about her, her strengths and, and buttons she has. So let's start with her job. Her standing one is possibly the best job in the entire game. I'm not even kidding. The range it has, uh, and it's like also the best combo starter she has. So the range, the range is insane, right? It's crazy range, quick recovery, hard to whiff punish, and it's, it's plus one on hit on block. So you can <laughs> you can pretty much abuse people with it. If the micro deck, it's fine. Just back dash uh, and do your mid, right? Just back dash, do your mid. They're trying to like micro deck it. Or, no, actually, if the micro deck, I can just do forward wine. So the thing is, you condition them with standing wine into standing wine, right? Because they might press. And then you just do her mid. Even though it's probably her, the best job in the game, you gotta be mindful because the, the full string has a flawless blockable gap and it makes it minus 15. Or, even though it's so good, you still gotta be careful about putting it out on on block, right? But that's where standing 2 comes in. Standing 2 also great, 10 frames. A little lower, less range. Actually, it's almost the same range. Not bad. She has, she has really good buttons. And it's zero on block. Uh, it's, you know, zero on block is always nice to have. And you can hit confirm it. And this also has a cool brutality. So that's another plus point for that string. So those are her jab strings. Standing 1, standing 2. Both are great. If you want the safe hit confirm, just do standing 2. It's a bit slower, but it's safe. Also, standing 1 is a great with punish, right? You can with punish easily. Let's go into her other buttons then. Let's go to her mid. So she has this 13 frame mid, which is pretty good, you know? 13 frames, not bad. Especially in a game like MK1, where the pokes are more minus, right? So you can kind of punish pokes or take your turn back more easily than MK11. Or pokes were like minus 6 and you could do was just mashed on when you had that 13 frame mid. But in this game, 13 frames is, uh, is, is okay. Not the best, of course, because people are gonna, you know, mash jabs on you sometimes. And you can hit confirm it. It's a safe hit confirm. But you gotta cancel the, the third hit. Because it's four hits overall, right? So the third hit, you have to cancel. And then you can get a combo. You can also use a cam here. It's, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you, you know? Let's take a look at this button. This is more like a spacing tool, right? Like with punish tool. Because it's, it's pretty slow, it's, it's 18 frames. It's not very fast, but yeah. And there's two enders. Uh, you can use this, or you can use this one. The good thing about it is it's actually zero on block. It's not bad. And this one, and this one's even plus on block. It's plus two. Yeah, not the best string she has, but you can put on some frame traps with this one. For sure, you can use some. You can use it for frame traps. All right, next move. Um. That we're gonna talk about is probably one of our best buttons in the game. It's forward three, and the string is forward three four. It's a free hitting string. It's probably her best combo starter as well. It just does so much damage. Right? Now we talk about that. She has a forward four card wheel, which is like a double hitting overhead, 19 frames. She can't cancel this button, but it's still super solid, right? Getting like an Unreactable overhead, 11%. It's a 14 frame high into an overhead. I just love how this move looks, actually. It's probably my, my favorite move visually of Melina. Dude, this move is so sick. It's also a pretty good with punish, like, you know? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But she has a really good sweep. The reason why the sweep is so good, it's plus two. It's 14 frames, but it's plus two, so, you know, she can sure do some stuff because she can do standing wine into back four into you know, this again or into her mid so yeah those are all her buttons so let's talk about the pokes her down one is you see this right seven frames and the range probably one of the best down ones in the game by far her down three also solid um it's pretty negative there 
It's really good. She goes low to the ground. It's snappy. Uh, just very negative. But her down 4 is 10 frames minus 6. Very strong. Now that we talked about her buttons, let's get into her special moves. So she has straight side and low side back in the game. The thing about this is it's not full screen. It's not even half screen. Like it has a really low range. So what you can do to make up for it is amplify it, right? Or it's a little spoiler. Um but amplifying it is super expensive. Like spending one meter for that is very expensive. I would prefer to just use Sorina's cam here, right? The people screen, just use her cam here. So it's not that expensive. And you know, you can dash up and do this. You know? And as you saw before, um when you amplify the regular size, you actually teleport to them. You cannot control this as far as I know. She always teleports. And this leaves her open for a combo. With Borrow. So yeah, you just did this, you know. And super strong. Oh, I just realized it even destroys opponent's projectiles. Really strong, actually. And the opponent has a projectile, it destroys it, and you can get a combo punish of that. That's pretty solid, honestly, like, it's pretty, pretty solid. And of course, you know, low side goes under, un under straight side. But the range is honestly an issue, like, it is an issue. I hope they buff this. <laughs> Just make it full screen. Uh, I can see it, I can see the balance aspect of this there. We talked about those moves, now we can talk about the teleports. So she has two teleports. One is this, which she can do in the air as well, right? If she amplifies it, she just gets more damage. Um, it's good to punish projectiles, right, on reaction. And she has this one, like an upwards. She has like a, a downwards and an upwards teleport. The upwards teleport, if you amplify it, you get a combo. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, I'll be honest. And then, you already saw this, you know, bar roll. Launches them. You can get a uh, free combo. Meterless. You know. And you can also do barrel in the air. It's a new thing. It's honestly such a cool move because it even extends your combos. It's actually a really good move. You can, if you press down there, you can cancel that. And when you amplify it, she just, yeah, she just does this. Whatever this is, she does it. She turns to Sonic, right? She just turns to fucking Sonic. She's so fast in the grind, she wanted to be Sonic in, ga in game as well. Uh, you can get like a little combo of this. Honestly, I'm not too sure what the purpose of this one is. I mean, I guess because you can cancel it, but this recovery is so big, like, who's gonna fall for this? You know what I mean? Like, you see the recovery. It's 42, like, it's way too long. It's really, really, really not, not, not that great. But those are all her special moves. So yeah, the new ones are the new TPs, and obviously the big one is probably this one. It's like a one of one of her best combo extenders, if you if you will. That was pretty much all her, all her buttons, all her special attacks. Now we can talk about her game plan a little bit. So her game plan is you know is hit and run basically, typical movie hit and run. We we'll punish them. Uh, you get a combo, then you run, you just zone them, or try and zone them, you know, make them do mistakes. You can also do like Serena full screen, and you can get a combo like that. Alright, so basically you're trying to, you know, make them whiff, with like, standing one, standing one, frame trap, do a sweep to frame trap. We'll punish them with your your mid. Right? That's basically it. Make them jump on you. So yeah. If you've played melee in other games, especially MK9 and MKX, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll be you'll feel it right at home with this version of the character. Alright. The MK11 version mm, was a bit scuffed. Let's not lie to ourselves. But this version, she's pretty good in this version. Like I said, I, I'll be surprised if she's not at, like the higher tiers, right? Maybe she's not like broken, broken, but she's just solid, right? She's just really, really solid. If you're like fundamentally a decent player, I feel like you can make her work pretty well. It's 
with punish, frame trap, you know, make your opponent make mistakes, and here space them out because she has really good buttons to space people out. Because she can always like bar roll. Uh, when, you, when you're with something, you just bar roll. You can also just do this for screen. This tries projectiles as well. Alright, then you do bar roll. You get a combo. Like, you have a lot of tools. Tell me this is not the best skin in this game. For this skin, it's so good, it's insane. I ain't gonna lie, this skin is crazy. Yeah, I'm thinking if I missed anything, honestly, like I'm thinking right now. But I think that's it. If you have questions or anything, just let me know in the comments or come by to one of my streams on Twitch and ask me live. If you enjoyed this little guide, make sure to leave a sub on the channel for more MK1 content because I will be dropping a lot. A lot of valuable, informative, and also fun, entertaining content. I'm gonna upload a separate combo video from the Alina very soon. By the time you're watching this, possibly it's already out. So check the description or like the pinned comment. I might just put the combo video there. But before I go, I'll just show you like my go-to combo. The one here into back Serena cam here. The forward 3-4. This. Pretty simple. The last button you do is, it depends, right? You can use uh, forward 1, you can use forward 2, you can use forward 3. You can use all those buttons as, as in our, uh, here, as this extension. Forward 3 is, like, probably the best one. Like I said, thank you for watching. Um, make sure to sub to the channel and share this video with your friends. You wanna learn melee? Take care.